Hey, Jared here. So I run a digitization lab and earlier today, somebody had told me that they were concerned about some of their old media. They were concerned about videotapes and Betamaxes and old audio tapes. And they said they weren't really worried about the old CDs and DVDs they have because they were relatively new. At which I had to tell them that the CDs and DVDs that they have are actually degrading probably faster than the videotapes and audio cassettes they have. And they're like, what? They didn't say that, but I could tell that from the email. So I wanna to talk to you for a moment about how these things are made versus how these things are made. So commercial CDs and DVDs aren't actually burned, they're pressed. So at the end of the day, CDs literally have just little pits in them just little dots, they're binary. Their little laser reads the holes or the little spots in the disc. The original version of this disc is actually a, an etched glass master. It's a glass disc which actually has little, little spots on it, simple as that. That gets then duplicated and then the blank literally gets pressed in and an impression is made and that's how this is made. Interestingly enough, CDs are pressed against a master Records are made the exact same way. There's an original record and they're also pressed. And so you get this exact replicated version of the original. In the old days, records that were pressed, which are the ones that you'd buy, versus recordings that you made yourself, which would be on a different material that would be cut. And those cut records, which are original records, I've actually shown you in other videos that I've digitized them, those cut records are different when you play back because those materials don't last as long. Again, the difference between a cut record and a pressed record, and again, most CDs and DVDs, all commercial ones, they've been literally duplicated by pressing them against a master. But this is a CD, this is a DVD-R, and this is a CD-R. And they aren't duplicated by pressing, they're duplicated by burning. So basically, inside of this is a material that you can burn and you can make little holes in. So the laser and the CD can burn and another laser can also read it. The reason this is important is, is that whatever material you burn, well, it gets holes by burning it, but that means it also can degrade. And it's gonna degrade faster than a commercially pressed CD. Also, when you look at a DVD, this is a die. That little purple thing there is a die. And when you're buying CDs and DVDs, there's different types. And the better material you buy has a different lifetime of when this material will start to break down. Now, some will tell you they're archival the last 50 years, though 50 years is in a lifetime. The other thing about these is when you ever burn a CD, it will say, do you wanna burn it fast or do you wanna burn it slow? And we all went fast, what's the difference? This is the difference. The difference is, is how deep is that groove? And when you burn a disc slower, you actually make a longer lasting disc because the grooves that you're making or the spots that you're making are clearer to the laser. Now it's gonna be fine day one, but as the disc degrades, the slower you burn the disc, the longer it's likely to last. And there are, again, different materials that you can buy, which will have different lifespans for CDs and DVDs. But that's the trick here is, is that just sitting on the shelf, the dye, the material that was cut by a laser, is actually gonna start to disintegrate versus a commercially stamped disc, which is gonna last a lot longer because this is actually three-dimensional. It was pressed into place. I hope that was helpful. It was a gross oversimplification, but I do wanna let everybody know at the end of the day, what you need to remember is, is that commercial discs are pressed or stamped and their physical three-dimensionality is what makes them last a lot longer than the ones that are actually burned using a dye or some other substrate in here. And these will actually dissolve over time and they don't last as long. There you go. Be careful and get your data into some place that you can keep moving it along. All right, that's it. I'm Jared, hope you enjoy. One last thing, RWs, the rewritable discs, those were even worse because they allowed you to sort of turn on and turn off the spots and, and like that's like moving parts, like anything that actually can go on and off, on and off, on and off, eventually is gonna die, so that's even worse. RWs were absolutely the worst materials out there. You would really never wanna use an RW, and if you've got data on an old RW, get it off. That's my piece of advice there.